please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hi children today we are going to look at length of objects there are different ways of measuring we will also look at non standard units when you say standard unit you know your ruler and it is got millimeter centimeter inches all that but we are going to look at all types of measuring so measuring any object's length any object it can be a book it can be a table it can be a length of your pencil anything so today we are going to look at length of various objects length we would like to measure anything and everything all right so measuring an object is to find out how long it is what is the length of that for example you would like to know the length of a pencil you would like to know the length of a sharpener or an eraser whatever it be now we use standard unit but we also can measure objects using non standard unit let's look at that first we can also measure items using non standard units now let's look at what are these non standard unit okay so first we are going to look at non standard non standard units what are they we are going to look at and how do they measure using non standard units now we do not carry all the time the ruler or tape with us so a quick estimate quick measurement now when you say non standard unit you say one a hand span a hand we say a hand span now if you have a book and you would like to know the length of the book then you use a hand span what is hand span your hand from one end of your big thumb to the small finger hand span so if you keep your book and then you say it is almost one hand span and if you say the length of it is yeah it is one hand span so how do you measure a notebook a notebook now we can measure a notebook in in a hand span now here is the notebook here you have the notebook i'm tracing it for you so that we do it perfectly okay now here is your notebook now we would like to know this is the length and the breadth you like to know the length and the breadth of the notebook okay this is the length and this is the breadth okay now a hand span we're going to measure a notebook now put your hand on this edge and to the other edge so we will say how much does a notebook measure the length of the notebook is one hand span one hand span 
that's it. So, you measured the length. Now, the breadth of the notebook is less than one hand span. So, what is the breadth? Less. Less than one hand span. Oh, then we know, oh, it is almost like a rectangle. One side is long, one side is short. I have traced the notebook for you. So, what is a hand span from one end of your thumb to the other end of your small finger? So, that is called a hand span. So, we measured a notebook. The length of the notebook is one hand span. The breadth of the notebook is less than one hand span. And you can measure table. You can measure anything you have. Alright? You can measure ribbon or anything. Now, so this is a hand span is a non-standard unit. Now, let's look at the next non-standard unit. Another non-standard unit is a cubit. So, that is 1 B. Second non-standard unit is a cubit. Now, what is it a cubit? You normally, you normally see flowers being sold from here till here. This is 1 cubit. From the end of your tall finger to your elbow. That length is called a cubit. Now, if I have a book like this and I want to measure from one corner diagonally, it is less than one cubit. Alright. So, you can measure anything. So, normally, in you measure flowers, length of ropes. So, to measure length of ropes, you use cubic. Robes, ribbons, anything. So, if you have a long rope, you would like to know how many cubic. You will, if you have a wire. So, supposing you have ribbons, wire, robes, wires, anything can be measured in thread. Anything can be measured. Cubit. Cubit is from the elbow to your tall finger. So, you can also measure ropes, ribbons, wires, then and, um, and thread. Threads and if you have strings or beads, anything. So, a cubit normally flowers. Flower lady uses that. Robes, if you have some robe and you like to measure, you like to know, oh, what is the estimate? How many cubits? So now, if I have to measure this board to see how many cubits, then I put my elbow here, one, and then two, and then three, four. It is more than four cubits. So the length of this board is more than four cubit from the elbow to this finger. This length is called a cubit. So, you can measure ropes, you can measure ribbons and wires and threads, anything. Alright, just to know your estimation, tubes, anything. Now, the third one, the third non-standard unit, the third non-standard unit is a pace. When you say pace, is the pace how you walk? You walk whatever pace, not taking long stride, normal walking. So, the third standard unit is non-standard unit of le measuring length is pace. I like to see this board, how many pace? So, one, two, three, four. If I make four paces, I will say this board, what is the length of this board? Four paces equal to this writing board. 
this writing board. Clear? This writing board. This writing board is four paces. One, two, three, four. You got it? So what is the first non-standard unit? Span. You measure span. One, two. All right? We measured a notebook. The next one is a cubit. Cubit is from the end of your elbow to the end of your tall finger. You measure ribbons, robes, wires, threads, anything. And if you have a stick, you want to know how many cubits, you, that's how you do. Non-standard unit. The third non-standard unit is a pace. So we measured this white board. This writing board is four paces. And then there's one more. Non-standard unit of measuring item. One more there is a foot span. We did a hand span. We also can do a foot span. Now, foot span is your foot. From one end of the foot to the other end of the foot. Now, if, you, if your leg, let's say, Okay, now the other leg must come just very close to this. Is that clear? It must come very close to the second. Now this is called this one. This is called a foot span. Okay, so if you have your leg kept like this. Okay. Now, this is called a foot span. Okay? From here till here. This is called a foot span. So, now we can also measure anything. Classroom, table. I am going to measure for you this writing board. So, again, I am going to look at how many foot span this writing board is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The foot, this writing board is eight foot span. So, writing board is eight foot span. This writing board. Now, these are the four non-standard unit of measuring anything. First, a hand span. One, two, it goes on like that. We measured a notebook. Cubit. Cubit is your arm from the elbow to the end of your tall finger. And then you measure ribbons and ribbons and ropes and wires, threads, anything. All right. Next, the third one is a pace. Pace is the, not the long stride, pace, how you walk. So, now I measured this writing board and it is four paces. Okay. Now, the fourth one is the foot span. Just like the hand span, foot span. So, the foot from one end of the foot till your toes, that is your foot span. I measured this white board for you. It is eight foot span. Alright. So, these are the four non-standard measuring units.